Remember when I said this in one of my previous videos? So, what is the player icon for? Well, I think that it might be a way to make friend requests. And in the recent Road to Unite video, Asphalt confirmed private lobbies and friends. Okay, how about this? Also, instead of adding 6 cars per update, it could be reduced to 2 or 3. Gameloft reduced the number of cars added to the game from 7 to 5 and most of them were unlockable. And also this. Also, I found another version of the event focusing on an unreleased car called the Nissan GTR Neon Edition which might get added to the global version in a few updates. Gameloft actually added the GTR Neon Edition to the game 2 updates after that video. If you have made it this far in the video, you might be wondering why I'm telling you this. Well, it's simple, Gameloft is watching all our moves as Asphalt 9 creators, and I have proof. But, before I give you the proof, let me explain what is an Asphalt 9 creator. When a person with a YouTube channel featuring mostly Asphalt 9 videos reaches 1000 subscribers, then he can sign up for Gameloft's Asphalt content creator program. After that, Gameloft recognizes him as an official creator and he gets certain benefits and rewards. But, there's a catch. You see, when you're an official creator, obviously Gameloft wouldn't want you saying anything against them. If you do say anything against Gameloft while in the creator program, you could even get banned. But, why do people even join? Well, the answer is simple, views and tokens. But, what about people who are not official creators but still make videos on Asphalt 9? Well, if that person's channel is growing significantly, then Gameloft could be watching that channel as they would probably want a new player as an official creator as that would allow them to reach out to that particular creator and let them into the creator club. Now for the juicy part, the proof. Remember when Carzon said this. Because did you guys remember that Gameloft registered a trademark called Asphalt Unite a while ago, which I made a video about thinking it could be a new Asphalt game? Well, if the theory I'm about to explain is correct, Asphalt Unite won't be a new Asphalt game. It will be the new name of Asphalt 9 Legends once this grand announcement Gameloft is planning to make takes place because... In just a few weeks after that, Gameloft officially announced that Asphalt Legends Unite will be an extension to Asphalt 9. Or how about when Driver555 mentioned this in one of his videos? A week ago, a chain of events happened affecting who used to be one of Asphalt 9 most skilled players. This is Driver555. I won't go too deep into it, but basically Driver555 ended uploading a video where he pointed out how Gameloft repeatedly ignored the fact that many people were cheating in their game, but not the basic way with, you know, shockwave hacks and infinite speed, but instead using cheats to abuse the Drive Syndicate events and thus obtaining completely golden out cards without spending a single dollar in-game. Literally two days after that video 400 hackers were banned from the game. Now, from the above examples, you would think that having Gameloft watch the videos is a great idea. Information could easily be delivered to them and the game could be improved quickly and effectively. But, there would be one big disadvantage, no one would be able to openly criticize Gameloft freely. Those who do would risk getting banned. In the end I leave it to you guys to think over it. Is Gameloft really watching, or are these examples just mere coincidences? Did Gameloft actually watch my videos or was it luck that I predicted the future? Please give your ideas in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe, goodbye, and have a wonderful day ahead.